Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another food tasting video. We are going to be doing Romania part two. So last year or the year before, I think it was, we went to our local Eastern European store and bought a load of Romanian snacks. I'll link it below so you can watch that one if you want to. But for Christmas this year, just gone, Chris bought me another box of Romanian treats. So I thought that I would show you guys on the video. So this is the huge box of treats that I got. I have some repeat ones in here, which I'm not gonna do, but I picked out the new ones for us to try together. As usual, Chris has very kindly offered help. Hi. I mean, I asked him to help as I always do because he's so good at this. So let's get started, I think. Choco banana. So this is a dark chocolate coated foam banana. It's also gluten free and gelatin free, which is unusual. All the foam bananas in the UK seem to have beef gelatin in. Wow, that's super banana-y. So it looks, so it looks like this. And it's super yellow inside. Okay, so that was really interesting. The foam was really like jelly foam. It wasn't, I was expecting it to be the foam that we get in the UK uh, for like shrimps and bananas, but it was a lot softer and a lot foamier, a lot squidgier, like a really firm marshmallow. And it also was quite crunchy, like a granulated kind of taste. The chocolate, I suspect it's not the highest quality chocolate in the world. It just kind of crumbled. Overall, good banana flavor. I'm probably going to rate it. Oh, I don't know. I was gonna say, three to be fair for the first one but i don't know if i would eat that again 2.5 yeah 2.5 let's go for that i need to have a lint roll break am i done all clean Magura. so this is a milk cake obviously a chocolate milk cake it has a milk cream filling and then it is glazed with cocoa okay that's pretty good it's kind of like I was gonna say it's not very sweet, but actually it is really sweet once you get into it. But in the same way, honey is really sweet. It's kind of intense rather than like immediate sugary flavor. I'm not sure how I feel about this one either. I don't think I like the chocolate that they've got on the outside of things. I'm gonna give it a three. It's quite waxy. Oh, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce this one. Batunal. I am trying. Copillary. Yeah, I'm also unsure how to pronounce this one. Batunol capillary. I don't know, I'm butchering that. It actually, it translates to, well, directly on Google, it's uh, the childish stick, but I assume that's like children's bar. This is a powdered milk chocolate and vanilla, but I don't know if it's chocolate or fudge. Feels like it is bendy like fudge. Hard for children to open. <laughs> what does that smell like? Like icing? Like yeah. buttercream icing? Oh, that's gonna be. That, it smells rich. It smells buttery. I think it's fudge. But it's really rich and grainy. Or a spoonful of cocoa powder, like drinking chocolate. Again, I'm not really a fan. I'm not really a fan. I'm gonna say a three again. <laughs> All of these have chocolate in, so you better get light in the it chocolate. It is a very chocolate heavy. I don't dislike it, but it's really, really different to anything that we have here. Did you rate that one? Three. Right. It's the texture as well. It's really grainy. Are we ready? Yes. Croco. This is a sandwich biscuit with chocolate cream inside. I like how easy that was to open, unlike the children's bar. That was really hard to open. So here it is, it's quite a simple kind of a biscuit. And it looks like quite a thick kind of spread filling. Mm. I don't know if I like that either. It's not very sweet. The biscuit is like, I guess a bit like a rich tea, and that is not very sweet. I bet if you dunk this in tea or coffee, that would be really, really good. Again, I don't like the chocolate element of it, but I think this would be such a nice little snack, like if you got home from school or take to work or something. The biscuit also is quite short, but more like a cracker short than like shortbread short. It's like it doesn't know if it wants to be super 
like a soft cookie or a hard biscuit. I'm gonna give this 2.5. Oh my. This has been my lowest rated snacks video ever. Let's see if we can't change it. Next up, Africana. This is a big bar of milk chocolate. I did try to do a little bit of research about this, but not much was coming up, so I'm not really sure on the history. I was just interested to know. So let's have a taste. Just says Africana on each little bit of chocolate. Okay, this isn't bad. It's really rich, super chocolatey. The texture is not as creamy as like dairy milk, and it still tastes a bit like drinking chocolate. Much better. Mm -mm. It has a sort of a waxy quality, but it's not bad. This is getting a four. This is getting a four. I suspect you'll rate the next one quite highly. Choco rolls. Or oh, your belly in shock. Ch Ch Choco rolls. So I think in our Turkish video we had another version of this, didn't we? These ones are basically the wafer rolls for coffee. These ones are chocolate wafers with a chocolate filling. Oh, they're really thin. They're little, they're little cigarettes. Oh, not as cream filled as I'd. They're a bit like um, chocolate bourbon biscuit. Tastes like Wheatos. Very it nice. tastes burnt. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But I actually quite like burnt things. I think actually those would be quite addictive. How good would those be with milk? Mm. Really good. Not exactly what I was expecting. I was expecting a more like liquidy creamy filling. We've had Polish ones before. Um, they sent them around the corner from us. The Turkish ones that we had or the Italian ones that I've had in the past. I think these have their own charm. I think if this was a breakfast cereal, they're a bit like Crave, aren't they? I'm gonna give those four as well. I like them. Uh, finally is the Netty Hearts, which will be paired with Brezel pretzels. Mm. In this Romanian package, there were some things that we tried before, like I said, including pretzel sticks and pretzel shake pretzels, but we had that in the last video. What I'm gonna do is, cause these are like a, basically like a Nutella style spread, I'm gonna dip. So one side of this is like a chocolate hazelnut and the other is like a milk spread. So I have a bit of pretzel. Okay, the white side is pretty nice actually. I didn't know what to expect from it because I wasn't sure if it's gonna be more like milk or like white chocolate, but it is kind of milky. And at first it's not so strong, but then it kind of very gently comes through. These remind me of, um, what are they called? Choc dips. You know, they used to be in a little pot and you used to get a little bit of chocolate in them and like breadsticks. What were they called? I can't remember what they were called. Yeah, I know what you mean though. I put a picture of what I'm talking about here, but that's what these are with pretzels. Oh, I used to love those. Mm, chocolate side's really good. Oh yeah. I really like that. Definitely recommend it with pretzels. The flavour is nice. Consistency's nice. You can match it with several things. This would be good with pretzels, breadsticks. Chris has just eaten some with one of those choco rolls. I think even like crisps. Yeah, that's really good. That's getting a five from me. And the pretzels are a five all day. I love a salty, salty pretzel. Is that it? That's it. We did it. Wow, well, I'm glad we ended on a high. Ended on a five. I hope you enjoyed Romania part two. If there are any other countries you'd like me to try, I will do my very best to source them. We have a few more coming up uh, in the next few months. We're doing research into South Africa. We're doing research into Thai snacks. We were also doing research into somewhere else. Oh, Italian. We recently had an Italian deli open up in Southampton. That's very exciting. So yeah, so there's a couple more coming your way within the next couple of months. If you like this, please like and subscribe to this channel where you can find more food tasting videos. I've actually just recently created a playlist of all my food tasting videos. So I will link that below as well. I make videos nearly every Sunday and I hope to see you around. Bye.